Hello summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to talk about Magneto and discuss if he is the best mutant character in the game. Uh, so in my opinion at least the competition is definitely between Omega Red, Colossus and Magneto for the number one spot. Mutant class in general is just so stacked. Uh, it has really powerful characters, all three and even like Neomar and Archangel and Domino are just so powerful like mutant class in general has 5 or 6 characters that are so insane uh, but uh, Magneto uh, I think it is a bit too early to say that he is the best but I definitely think that he has a lot of potential and he could be the best so do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, but if you don't know his abilities and you've seen the gameplay so far, like we are almost one minute in, in the video, uh, you probably wouldn't be that impressed. But look at the SP3 here and uh, we're going to talk about uh, it after this SP3. So uh, we did a lot of damage, that's cool. Like Havoc has a lot of damage on SP3, probably similar, like if we just talk about the physical damage here. But the bleed damage is insane and uh, if the character is bleed immune you get some insane armor break damage like the armor break apply before the sp3 so the sp3 just finishes the fight basically for in most situations unless you are in labyrinth or abyss it finishes off the fight i have used it in um, path 5 here this is path 5 it is a uh, ebon flow uh, intercept i think it is ebon flow intercept uh, and uh, yeah so even like in some scenarios i've used him i've built to sp3 against robot character i used sp3 when they have the shield on like the protection shield and uh, he still finishes off the fight uh, like and i'm not even running suicide masteries i should say that Nero is amazing with suicide masteries because first he uh, takes reduced bleed damage and with willpower coagulate he can heal from suicide masteries pretty much like omega red and corvus uh, plus uh, you for the most part you are going to use sp3s with them so uh, it's basically all the pros and none of the cons so uh, in the off season i'm definitely going to run this guy a lot with suicide masteries and test him out further uh, but even without suicide masteries like the damage is just a little too much it is a bit insane uh, as you can see here, uh, now this Dark Hawk, like in Alliance War, uh, I use Medusa a lot because of how many robots I face, but Magneto is just even better. Like every robot is, of course, a hashtag metal character and bleed immune, so basically, all you need to do is reach your SP3 and the fight is over. Uh, now, there is an easy way to restrict Magneto if there is a node where he doesn't gain any power. Uh, it could be or like uh, gaining power is tricky like so let's say uh, on metador uh, or something like that that could just make the fight really hard with the magneto like i don't think he is as overpowered as ghost or quake he's not at that level in my opinion like uh, he is really solid i think he could be a top five character in the entire game in all classes um, but still like he can be stopped and uh, there are a lot of scenarios where you wouldn't want to use him uh, but again metal character is also have like this crazy perfect block chance uh, and uh, he like his heavy attack has unstoppables like uh, sometimes when i was charging the heavy attack i didn't pay attention to the stun and you know opponent was running limbo or something and if even if they hit you like you'll automatically launch a heavy attack and won't take much damage uh, the unstoppable will have a cooldown but it is basically a safety net and the fight feels really slow till you reach sp3 because the basic hits on magneto will not do much damage unless you have an armor break on them uh, and after that like he does some really decent uh, damage even in the basic attacks even like his sp1 sp2 if they crit they do a lot of damage but uh, that is a bit dependent on RNG, especially like SP2, it just has one hit. But in a lot of like shorter fights, this is like a 42,000 uh, Wolverine here. Oh, by the way, I missed the point. I was saying uh, the Magneto uh, and the Medusa thing. Uh, so every robot is a metal character, but even like 
there are so many metal characters in the game uh, i use him a lot in cavalier difficulty and it was like every third or every fourth character is a hashtag metal defender and a lot of annoying ones like nova uh, weapon x uh, like weapon x isn't that common i guess but mojo dr doom uh, and hylas now so there are a lot of annoying defenders guillotine 2099 as well like they are all really annoying defenders in my opinion and he just completely owns them uh, he also has a uh, like a regeneration reversal kind of thing it's not that powerful but uh, it is basically a heal block kind of stuff uh, and with synergy he can actually apply the heal block uh, which against nick fury it uh, stops his uh, second phase uh, the life model decoy because the heavy attack pushes him to the uh, like second phase and then the heal block is applied so uh, it's not shrugged off so that is the reasoning uh, like that it is working right now i'm not sure if it is intentional or it is a bug uh, i'm not making a video on it because if it is a bug and it gets pointed out then uh, people would not like me for pointing it out and stuff so uh, but anyways uh against this vision you going to see like against robot characters all you need to do is to, like hey like him even better against robot characters their characters like x23 uh where if you can't bleed them you gain cruelty and it's nice it's not completely uh, like uh, <laughs> look at that sp3 damage it's just crazy uh like uh, yeah so again with characters like x23 like if you can't get bleed you'll get something else but it's not as good But with Magneto, I feel it's even better. Like you don't have to wait for the bleed damage. Like sometimes I feel because heavy attacks and stuff, uh, you're just parry, having parry, having, and uh, you don't can't like bait specials for that long, or you'll use like you can uh, in war at least most of the time. I just first build my power, then focus on getting the prowess up. Uh, but like there are a lot of scenarios. uh where you would be like really close to pushing him to the sp3 and stuff or like the opponent and again non metal characters it doesn't even uh, again uh, metal characters who can't bleed it doesn't even matter like you just use your sp3 and the fight will be over against characters who can bleed it it will still takes a few seconds to, for them to drop and they can punish you uh, in that time with sp3 or something So uh, that is why, like, I really prefer him against uh, bleed min characters. Uh, but like, uh, when the bleed expires, it just uh, against uh, hashtag metal characters, he does some insane damage when that bleed expires. Uh, which basically, for for the most part, all you need to do in every single fight in the game except Labyrinth and Abyss uh, is reach your SP3. and uh, that is why i think this character is just so powerful this is the cavalier difficulty warlock boss so warlock i thought could be an annoying matchup because um, uh, like when you have salve uh, salve or will power and you are regenerating like even plus 2 regeneration it counts as regeneration and when you have the infection on you that could lead to uh, power like your powers uh, your power to drain basically which is really annoying with warlock but uh, he also has really strong defensive ability reduction so as you can see here we're not regenerating but we're not also losing any power uh, which is really nice and uh, now so see here if this sp3 doesn't kill him he will be at sp uh, at a sp3 of his own because i didn't bait a special attack but i don't have to worry about that because it does kill him because it's magneto and uh, he's insane Uh, so here this Thor Ragnarok in is uh, what um, Ebon Flow intercept node and he just completely shuts down the node after one intercept so uh, in a second here i'm going to intercept uh, and uh, like you can see the magneto icon so it was right uh, you see a shield there so after this intercept it goes away and it never comes back it's supposed to come back but it never it doesn't come back because of his uh, ability reduction and stuff 
Yeah, so after this fight, the tricky part of this fight because against Thor Ragnarok, he can auto block you when you intercept, and uh, that is the reason he's placed on this node so often. Uh, but here again, this guy is not bleed immune. If I use SP3, it probably won't kill him straight away, like the bleed damage would, but it won't. So I decided to wait for him to use uh, his SP2 and uh, then i'm going to like i'm down at 10 prowess also i think that early on you should not start with doubling your prowess uh, like build 3 4 uh, when you like hold heavy attack it doubles the prowess but it is temporary uh, the if you just use a quick heavy attack then uh, it is a permanent prowess so um, yeah uh, anyways, so we're going to move on to the next video. Have some network issues there, uh, but as I was saying, um, I still think like at this day, uh, if someone asked me who is the best mutant character in the game, I would probably say Omega Red, and then Magneto Colossus, and even then I would say Magneto is really powerful, but Colossus has more probably more use in Act 6 and stuff uh, it depends it's not an easy answer if someone asks uh, who to rank up in these three characters uh, if they are running suicide masteries like even then all three of these characters are great with or without suicides uh, without suicides Omega Red is probably not the best and uh, I'm not even sure like they are all so good that it's uh, like no matter what I say people would be upset um, but uh, like uh, let's look at this p3 damage uh, and uh, you let me know what you guys think in the comment section and uh, yeah that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day subscribe to the channel and stay safe bye bye